Now, if you saw the title of this video, you're probably thinking, hey, that's a bold statement to be making, Tyler. Well, it's true, and I'm going to explain to you why in this very video. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Log.zip here, and welcome to literally the reason I think that Minecraft 1.9 is going to be the best update ever. Now, what we have here is endless amounts of different types of skills. You would not believe when I say this is in the snapshot. This is in the Minecraft snapshot. Dwarven sword, dragon sword, prism sword, bone sword, double helix sword, the razor sword, the gilded sword, the icicle sword, the slime hammer, the lunar sword. Just the tip of the iceberg. With Minecraft 1.9, you can literally add thousands, thousands of different weapons to your game. And it doesn't even stop there. You can actually add thousands of different items in general to the game using Minecraft 1.9 and a simple resource pack. Which, by the way, credit where credit is due, Celestial Dragon on Reddit is the genius behind this map as well as the textures, I believe. I assume he made the textures. Now, the reason this works is you'll notice, look, check it out. Look at the bottom there where it says Minecraft Diamond Sword. So this is a retextured diamond sword, right? Right, that is right. It is a retextured diamond sword. But we'll go into this combat menu and you'll see, hey, wait a second. The diamond sword's not retextured. Okay. Now, what weapon is this? Oh, it's... Oh, it's also a diamond sword. Well, what about this next one? Di diamond sword. Diamond sword. Diamond sword. Diamond s They're all diamond swords. Well, how? Well, with Minecraft 1.9 comes the ability to add a resource pack, not only to items as you normally can, but to add it to specific durabilities on items. So what this means is I will go ahead and grab myself a plain old diamond sword right now. We're going to switch over to game mode zero. We're going to grab ourselves some armor here, and we're going to summon in some silverfish. Now you'll notice here, all in difficulty, <laughs> worst guy. That's interesting. That you see? Now look, you see the durability down there? You can you can kind of tell right here. Right now we have a durability of 1557. You'll notice that the durability goes down as I use the sword. Currently we're at a durability of 1550. Now the reason this is important is in Minecraft 1.9 you can give certain textures to its own durability. So what this means is right now there's 1561 plus the zero plus the untouched version of the durability for a grand total of 1,563 different possible textures you can add to change how the diamond sword looks. Not joking you. Every single durability value can have its own texture. Are you serious? Well, I mean, am I serious? And the answer is yes. So what this is going to allow for is an insane amount of different types of weapons, like the bone sword that has its own custom abilities, Bane of Arthropods, it has its own damage speed, since with command blocks you can change the damage speed of different weapons, and it's got its own DPS values, it's got its own cooldowns, it's got this, that, and the other. Now this is going to be straight insanity. You will be one resource pack and some command blocks away from having thousands of different weapons at your disposal. Now, this also means that you can do this for armors as well. And although that is not being shown in this video, you could do the very same. Retextured armors based on durability armor value. You could have obsidian chest plates. You could have ruby boots. You could have a slime helmet. Perhaps will knock back enemies when you get hit. Or TNT leggings that will blow up mobs around you if you're struck. This is going to change everything and for the record look at this sword what a boss looking sword i'm gonna grab all these swords and we're, and we're gonna show you step at a time how each one has its own abilities has its own cooldown values has its own attack damages attack speeds the works it's honestly some of the craziest stuff i've ever seen look at the, look at the looter sword you wouldn't believe so check this out we got the slime hammer you can see it's got a very fast cooldown. But, you know, we bust out the Icicle Sword, 
And you know, it's not, it's not, it's a little bit slower. Now let's go ahead and spawn in, let's spawn in some skeletons. Now you can see here, they all doing their own thing. We got the gilded sword. Now what does the gilded sword do? We kinda, we kinda weren't paying too much attention. So the gilded sword over here, where's my gilded sword? It has a speed of 1.425 and a DPS of 10.6. All the signs you see on here are going to give off the different DPS values. And as we saw, some of them actually come with different types of knockback. For example, the slime hammer has insane knockback. And at the end of the day, these are all just diamond swords. It's insanity. It's craziness. I can't wait for someone to do this very same thing, except with armor values. You can even change horse's armor. You give horse armor with different effects. Maybe when the horse wears it, it gets a speed boost. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And not only this, but with modeling that is now available in 1.9, where you can actually make 3D models using custom resource packs, you could, in theory, retexture diamond boots and make it look like a brand new block. Make the armor stand be, make an, an invisible armor stand be wearing said boots. And since it's modeled to look like a block, all of a sudden, it actually just looks like a brand new block. So not only are you gonna be able to have, whoa! <laughs> not only are you going to be able to have thousands of different weapons in Minecraft 1.9, you're also gonna be able to have thousands of different armors in Minecraft 1.9, and you're gonna be able to have thousands of different blocks in Minecraft 1.9. It's, I, I, I don't even have words. Like, I cannot wait to see all of the amazing features that are eventually going to come out. And with upcoming changes to how armor is going to work, which we're going to be discussing in the next Minecraft news video that you should be seeing on my channel sometime in the next couple days, the, uh, the variety is, like, it's mind-blowing. Like, I'm having trouble thinking about, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and boom, reset our armor, re reset our regen as well. And I'm actually going to take out a few of these different mobs, but I want to make sure that we have the appropriate one. So let me go ahead and we'll just put all these in here for now. And I want to grab myself. Hmm, what are our, what are our mob options here? We've got, oh, I don't want, I don't want the skeleton to hurt me mad. We'll grab, let's just grab a diamond sword for good old time's sake. You know what I mean? He wasn't even going after me. That's crazy. So we've got a wither boss here, a, some silverfish, some skeletons, zombies, and spiders. So let's grab something with our bane of arthropods. Now, which one of these has bane of arthropods? The bone sword does. And in addition, Okay, well, it looks like just the bone sword does. Now, I wish it was like a spider sword, because that would have been sweet. So, Bane of the Arthropods, if you decide to have a map that features all these different sword options, is going to be the attack weapon of choice for our dear spider friends. Look at this. Oh, it's crazy. It's, it's so, it's so cool. Like, I can't even get over it. And it's got such a fast attack rate compared to just regular old weapons as well. And the fact that you can change these and customify, customify, that's, that's uh, customize and modify one if you weren't aware. All it takes is a couple command blocks with some attribute modifiers and someone talented enough to make some sweet resources. And all of a sudden, you've got some of the most variety, I can't speak today, some of the most varied combat that Minecraft has seen ever. And it's not even in a long time, it's quite literally ever. I know a lot of people are sore about the changes to combat, but I really want you to understand how intense this is going to make combat. Not only are mobs actually going to be a little bit of a challenge now, which is great because honestly, mobs are no longer a threat like 20 minutes into any Minecraft map. You can f you can get to diamond in like 10 minutes and so you got a diamond sword and you're one or two hitting almost every single mob. So what what's the fun in that? But with Minecraft 1.9, not going to be as ridiculously easy. Now, let's choose a different weapon. What do we have here? I want to, do they have any with smite, I wonder? I guess the fastest way to check this would be, that's knockback, that's looting and fire aspect. So we'll grab that for our wither. Now, look at this, the prism sword or the dragon sword. You see, they both have fire aspect, but which one is better? So the dragon sword has a 6.5 damage, but it's a 1.5 speed that's the dragon sword right so 6.5 1.5 speed 9.75 dps okay meanwhile the prism sword has a 2.5 damage but it's got a speed of four see look slow look at the little cooldown meter down here 
slow, fast. Swing, 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 or swing, swing, swing. Do you see the difference? So the DPS on the Prism Sword is 10, and it's got Fire 1. But maybe you want to make sure we deal the final blow with the Looting Sword to get better objects. All the same, let's go ahead and spawn in our Wither Friend. Oh, baby. That's dangerous. And I think it's time we just took him out with this Prism Sword. Yeah! Look at this. You see the difference here? You can... It's just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overly excited about this. I am ridiculously, like, enthusiastic about the upcoming changes that's going to be happening in Minecraft 1.9. Including the fact that I'm pretty sure I'm about to die. Pretty sure I'm going to die. Just a second here. We got, come on, attack! Attack, die! You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we... Oh, yo, we got to hit him with the slime. We got to hit him with the slime hammer. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Grab it. Okay, so check this out. Slime hammer. Knock this fool back. Uh, uh. Okay, let's well, not really knock him back. Because. See, and even. And look, the slime hammers got an even faster cooldown than the prism sword. I'm about to die, and I'm dead. <laughs> this will also allow you to do some interesting and awesome changes to your adventure maps should you be a map maker. What we have here is a command that just gives us a. Blank, blank, blank sword! Now the neat thing about it is we also have an anvil here. So all we really need to do is change this from blank, blank, blank sword to, you ready for this? Prism sword. And check it out. Now it's a, okay, well it didn't work, whatever. Oh, that, that was embarrassing. Point being, you can have any which way amount of weapons, armors, and in the future, blocks added just from Minecraft 1.9. Be excited about this, guys. Be very excited. I know there's some crazy changes that are coming with Minecraft 1.9, and not everybody's going to be comfortable with them. But honestly, just understand how revolutionary this is going to be. All you need is a resource pack. And you really don't even need a resource pack. All you need is a little imagination and openness. But if you have a resource pack, it's going to make everything look a little bit nicer as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little informative video about why I think Minecraft 1.9 is going to be the update that changes Minecraft forever. Make sure you subscribe for future Minecraft videos, including more stuff on 1.9 as it comes out. And of course, thanks for leaving a like rating on the video. It is much appreciated, all the support you show on the channel. I am... What, where's the... Hey man, Wither's gone invisible. That's okay. We're just going to summon another one instead. And in fact, yeah, now you're going back. We'll see you later, friends.